Venezuela suffered one of the worst moments over the last few years as different factions of the opposition decided to participate in a sham legislative elections that were fully controlled by the socialist regime of dictator Nicolás Maduro. The situation is extremely beneficial to the regime because we need to take into consideration that its diplomatic, its diplomatic essence have been suffering all types of blows over the last few years, essentially because of the different types of violent and illegal acts it has committed. So this situation is extremely beneficial because all of this legitimizes the socialist regime of Nicolás Maduro and it even cleaned its image on the international community because we need to remember that the last time that there were some type of elections in Venezuela, it were the 2018 presidential elections with, which were recognized by almost any single country around the world and an election that the opposition in Venezuela didn't even participate an election that the opposition in Venezuela didn't recognize, which of course led to the rise of interim president Juan Guaidó. So, on this situation, all of this is extremely beneficial to their government because for the first time in three years, they could get legitimized because of participating in a political event which uh, the, the significant role and even participation of some members of the Venezuelan opposition and even with the international observation. In this case, we're talking about the European Union. So to explain this really complex situation, we need to remember that there is a significant part of the Venezuelan opposition that is fully controlled by the Venezuelan regime. As a matter of fact, this part of the Venezuelan opposition cohabitates, cohabitate with the regime and accept to participate in every single event that the social regime asks them to. We're talking about a part of the Venezuelan opposition that has been infiltrated by the regime, especially by the way of making them participate in corrupt practices, make them part of the country's corruption, which of course immediately make them allies because they know that they can oppose this regime because once they do it they will be completely accused of all type of corrupt acts acts that the regime has the proofs on this case it is important to take into consideration that the observers of the european union once the election was over all of them claimed there were all types of irregularities and violations on this political event on the other hand, on this legislative election, 20 of 23 states were won by the ruling coalition, by the Chavismo, by the Venezuelan regime. The Venezuelan regime won 20 of 23 states. Uh, on this case, it is quite important to, to point out that of the three states that the opposition won, one of them was the state of Zulia, with former governor Manuel Rosales getting elected once again at the governor of this important state. We're talking about the oil-rich state in an oil-rich country. But in any case, nothing of this will happen because we need to remember that this was essentially a pantomime elections. Pantomime elections because we need to remember that Venezuela is a dictatorship. Venezuela is a dictatorship and there is simply no sense in participating in a political event that won't change absolutely anything and will only clean the image of the government and of the regime and will even legitimize it after three long years. But in any case, this only shows one of the main issues that, Venez that the Venezuelan political situation has right now and is the fact that the opposition is fully divided, just as we saw in this legislative election, in this sham legislative elections. Reporting from Medellín, Colombia, Luis Orozco, Newsweek.